have a like did the moment that you just had a light bulb in your head like ping wow vocals that's my thing or how did that you just started singing when you were 14 no, or I, I don't know it's like you you sit at home and you sing along to the songs that you love and then it's kind of i, I think it the whole thing was pretty random it's like we're a group, group of guys and everyone picks something to do and yeah. i just kind of picked the vocals i guess <laughs> it just happens yeah that's the story quite often actually yeah. like one one has to someone has to carry that part yeah. and this time it happened to be you yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you write your songs or who writes for it's, Eminence? it's me and Harold that writes the music yeah. okay everything yeah do you write lyrics yeah I write all the lyrics yeah all right well. yeah um, I know this is like the most annoying question is where do you draw influence from and how how are your songs born but let me ease out this question just a little bit sure just to narrow it down a tad can you share me a birth story of like one of your songs do you have any songs that have hmm. an interesting inspirational point of view or just inspirational way of building the song wow it's, that's not so easy to, oh, to, to answer what a bummer. Uh, <laughs> I think um, our music is kind of and I mean it comes really from a deep place um, yeah. and especially with you know my lyrics as well it's something that I've been battling with as well is like the, the depression and, mm. and dark dark thoughts and for me music al has always been like this um, escape to wow. like take care of myself and I always felt like that like this is something that I have to do like mm. no matter what and uh, you know, the, the music just comes kind of by itself, I guess. Yeah. It just falls out of me. Yeah, it's, it's like my, my escape, so yeah. that's why I love to do music. It's a good way to construct your feelings and kind of go through hard stuff as well. Yeah. And this is like one of the topics that I find not a lot of people are sharing that much maybe it's hidden somewhere but i love the way that you're like yeah that's the thing that's the this is just me and i'm yeah. a dark guy yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah well <laughs> you know you know um what is um the most meaningful song for you to perform right now right now mm. um I think, I mean, that that can change from, from time to time. Uh, exactly. I would say, like, last year we played a lot from our record, Heaven and Hiding, mm. and I think Alleviate is one of the, like, heavier songs for me to perform live, because right. it's very, it's very emotional. I mean, most of our songs are, but yeah, it's a special song. Is it me. personal? I mean, every song that we write is personal to me, oh, but wow. this is, uh, yeah, it's kind of like a ballad, and you know, it's, it kind of brings it out a bit more, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Well, if we sprinkle a little bit of light to the darkness, do you have any like song that is fun to play on stage, mm. that lifts the spirit a little bit or gets the crowd cheerier? Um, of course, like. Playing live also brings me a lot of joy, yeah. and uh, most of our songs do as well. Or like every time you're on stage, you're you're happy to be there. That's kind of like the end goal. Yeah. Um, I guess right now, Temptation is maybe the most fun because it's like right now. I guess it's our biggest song, and you get huh. the most interaction from the crowd, and that's yeah. What I love. Interaction is a great word. You, yeah. it's it's a great feeling. Yeah. When you get like the energy movement and the shift. Yeah. From the audience. All right. I have a couple of questions before I let you go to the yeah, stage. Sure. You said that you just started kind of touring and gigging around this summer. Yeah. What's the rest of the year looking like, you guys? We are 
writing a lot mm -hmm. and uh, that's what we're focusing on right now yeah yeah, yeah. Um, we'll see what happens at the end of the year Ooh. but um, yeah <laughs> I won't say too much very secretive yeah. <laughs> you don't want to you don't want to say too much and then people will be disappointed so yeah let's not spill too much yeah. tea we can do another interview with sure. the new stuff then well now that you are geeking a little bit here and there as well as doing a little bit more of the creative work um, uh, can you share with my audience like some good headbanger road trip songs that you've been jamming to it can be your songs or anybody's wow any good just like anything that comes to your mind yeah well i just caught um why she sleeps uh, they were playing here and they are a great band to headbang to so i would recommend that yeah and yeah they I, that was the first time i've heard them and alex just said outside that you must see them yeah and we managed to get a glimpse of them as we were walking yeah yeah uh, from another interview to another interview and gosh yeah. They have energy like Yeah, they are really great. They draw you in. Yeah. And so do you guys in a bit. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, thank, thank you again you. so much. Thank you. And we'll be headbanging in the front row for sure. Thank you so much for taking the time and I'm happy to be here. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Bye.